time for Medical Monday here on Wisconsin tonight. Dr. Rose from Baycare Clinic joining us now. You are an ER physician. We're talking about firework safety, especially important tonight. Tell us what you see typically on 4th of July in the ER. So typically on 4th of July, we see a lot of fireworks related mm -hmm. injuries. Uh, it's a really common thing that people forget that fireworks can be unsafe. What types of injuries do you see? Maybe the most common ones. So the most common things that we see, we see burns mm -hmm. um, and eye injuries. And usually we see burns to the hands and to the face. And then we can see burns as well. Okay, uh, I have to ask. Who is typically the one going into the ER with these injuries? So the people typically uh, coming into the ER are young children mm -hmm. uh, and young adults. Men? Men, about 75% of the time. And that's a big statistic. 75% of the time it's men. Correct. Why do you think that is? I think that uh, it's a little bravado and probably a little alcohol. Absolutely makes sense. So let's talk about some of the simple things that you can do to make sure you do not end up in the ER tonight. Certainly safety, plan ahead. Make sure that you practice normal safety techniques. Mm -hmm. um, don't fire things at people. Yes. Try not to um, use things that you're not prepared to put out with a fire extinguisher if right. in fact a fire starts. Um, and that you practice, you know, safe lighting techniques. And these all are things that seem like common sense, right? Absolutely. There's, these are common sense, but unfortunately, uh, on a yearly basis, we need to re remind people mm -hmm. so that way they... Uh, don't forget. They don't forget. All yeah. right. So if you do have some type of injury from a firework or something like that, what should you do? I mean, when is it the point when you need to go to the ER? Certainly, you know, if you suffer from burns, cool water mm -hmm. um, is, is a good thing to do. Sometimes uh, ice can be helpful. Okay. Uh, if you notice that the pain is becoming more than you can control with Tylenol or ibuprofen or the burns are um, significant um, to the extent where they're more than 5% of the body or they're on the face or mm -hmm. eyes, we need to see you sooner rather Absolutely. than later. Absolutely. Those are very, very good tips. And, and I think, you know, the biggest thing, keep children away. Absolutely keep children away. You need to keep tabs on them at all times. Uh, they can get, you know, near those fireworks pretty quickly mm -hmm. uh, and they can get injured pretty severely. And that's just that we both have kids. I mean, they do go, I mean, you have to keep a close eye on them at the, all times. Absolutely. It's like a magnet and they mm -hmm. go to them and it's the most unfortunate thing to see small children burned un unnecessarily. Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much for being at the talk. We appreciate it. Hopefully everyone is safe tonight. For more